Good morning students. Today I am going to tell you a story. The story is about a mother and her children. So let's see what do we have on the book. What can you see here? I can see Cinderella, Mowgli, Snow White, Aladdin, Pinocchio and Rapunzel. Who are these characters? Do you know? Yes, they are some characters from famous children's stories. So in this way, we are going to begin our today's session on Mother, tell us a story. So let's see, what do we have? Storytelling goes back to ancient times, long before writing was invented. But where do stories come from? Different cultures explain the origin of stories differently. This popular folktale from Africa describes how a woman found stories for her children. Let's read the section 1. Mother, tell us a story. Manja's children said when they sat around the fire at night. Manza couldn't think of a story, however hard she thought. So who is Manza in here? Manza is the name of the mother who is going to tell stories to her children. The village, well, no one else in the village knew stories. The village where these story-seeking children lived was in Zululand in Africa. So what is the name of the place? The name of the place is Zululand in Africa. People hunted for meat or tiled the land. In the village. So what was the work of those people? What was the profession of those people? So the people prepared the land to grow crops or they hunted for the meat. Sometimes they fished or caught crabs. The villagers who were clever with their hands wove baskets and made wooden carvings. So these were the professions of the people of the Zululand. The cleverest of them was Zenzel, Manza's husband. He carved birds, trees, plants, flowers and animals. However, he knew no stories. One day, Zenzel told Manza, Go, look for stories. I will look after our home and children. Manza thought it was a very good idea. She packed some food and kissed her children. With her basket on her head and the colorful beads on her dress swaying, Manza set out to look for stories. A hare looked at her curiously. Manza knew that the hare was a tricky fellow, but she decided to ask him if he knew any stories. You never know who can be of help. Oh, clever dear, she said in a flattering tone. Do you know any stories? My children want to hear stories every evening. Stories, the hare said. I know millions, but I have more important things to do. So saying, he bounded off. Bounded off means ran off with leaping strides. Means the hare ran away from there. Then Manza met Finn, the baboon. So let's see what happened next. She was playing with her babies. Finn, she called, Do you tell your kids stories? What are stories? asked Finn. I am busy keeping my babies fed and warm. I have no time for anything else. Sighing, Manza went on. She saw an owl in a wild fig tree. Oh, owl, she called. Do you have any stories for me to take home? The owl was upset because her sleep had been disturbed. You woke me up for stories? She hooted. Humans cannot live in peace and are always looking for something. She grumbled as she settled down and began to nod off again. Manza walked on sadly. She saw an elephant ears flapping as he ate bananas. Kind elephant, she said, do you know any stories? My children are hungry. Where can I go for stories? 
The elephant felt sorry for her. I don't know any stories. He said, but the king of birds, the eagle who is high in the sky and sees many things others do not. That is a good idea. Manza exclaimed, thank you. Manza saw the great fish eagle from the south of the Tugela River near the South Africa. Swooping down from the sky, talons outstretched to grab. Oh, great eagle! She called. Started the eagle, dropped the fish. Startled by the sound, the eagle dropped the fish he had picked up. He landed on the shore near. What? Manza said. What do you want? He asked. Oh, great and wise eagle! Manza said flatteringly for... The eagle was a bird. My children are hungry for stories, but we have none. Do you know any? So students, we are reading up to here. And in our next episode, we will continue reading the story of mother. Tell us a story. Let's end this line. Do you know of that or any stories I can take back to them? Okay, students. Bye-bye. Okay, students, we will continue with the next part in our next video.